Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video and welcome to episode number three of our Road to Champs series featuring Go Wee Wee Edition. Now, I was in my trip at San Francisco, so I didn't do any attacks, but my defenses actually carried us up about almost 200 and I want to say 260 trophies. Pretty crazy. We are at 2379 now. We're at 2646. So awesome there. I'll show you guys. Um, a lot of the defenses, as you can see, we went on some big streaks and then we weren't losing very many. Um, but these attacks were pretty much like non-stop going back and forth all the way up until like five days ago. And then I did do one attack before I left with all hogs just to mess around and have fun with. By, um, which, by the way, hogs are not very strong anymore or I was just doing it way wrong. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this one. I'm just going to make this one in three straight attacks. I don't even need clan castle troops. I don't think I, I think I already have a golem, but... Just going to go ahead and gem the troops up and get them done as quick as I can. Um, so let's see which ones we can find. We're looking for 30 trophies or above, guys. And if it gets too bad, I will cut out the searching for it. I think we'll do like five or six searches. Um, and then we'll go ahead and skip ahead. So let's see what we can find here. 15 trophies. No thank you. 23 trophies. All right, last search. 31 trophies. All right, here we go. So this will be go perfect. Let's see if we can beat this base. This used to be a very popular base um, until they introduced Lava Hound. Not, now it's not so much. Um, pretty strong base, though. Here we go. You can always get the two wall breakers in right there. And then same thing over here. And then right here, of course. Now he is going to have a giant bomb there. Um, most people who run this base do. So, oh, that wall breaker actually went the wrong way. Don't want it to go that way. There we go. We got the bomb. We also got a trap. Here comes his clan castle troops as well. I want to get the rest of those using that hog rider. All right, so he does have a dragon, which is actually really strong in your clan castle. So I'm just going to lightning spell it to get rid of the minions. I think it should get rid of the minions if I do that. Yes, it does. Didn't get all of them, though, so I placed that a little bit off. But that's all right. We'll make up for it here. We're going to put down our golems, get them going. There should be some traps and bombs in there. going to put down my witches behind. Here we go with our wizards. They're going in. All right, wall breakers. I actually don't want them heading there. It's kind of weird that they are heading there. I'm going to put down a rage spell here and put down my heroes. I need to get my heroes in as quick as I can. I'm also going to put down a free spell on this inferno tower. That inferno tower will wreck um, my main troops if I don't put that to if I don't get it frozen. So I'm going to do the same thing again, but I am going to get the inferno towers this time because they are going to do more damage. Put down another rage spell because that one's about to run out. My king is actually pretty weak. I'm going to go ahead and use his. No, I don't need to use it yet. We're going to wait a little bit. All right, now I'm going to use his ability. I'm going to use his ability since he's on the town hall. 48%. My queen is still full health. Do we have any golems left? If we have some golems left, we can hope for a three star. Um, we do not. So I don't think a three star is going to happen unless my queen just does something crazy here. We do still have a bunch of witches left. But the splash damage on this base is just, I think, going to be too much for them here in a second. Let's see what my queen decides to do. I don't know. We might be able to do this. Actually, looking at it, we might be able to. Since I still have so much on my queen, we're going to get the three star. Awesome. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Pretty certain. Since look at all these witches over here. Um, and I'm going to put down these ones just to get some buildings picked off. No real threats. The only real threat to any of my troops is the um, giant bombs that he has left over or that mortar. That mortar could actually do a lot. So we got to watch for that. All right. We got that one gone. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Air defense is gone. Oh, I almost forgot to use my queen's ability. That would have not been good. Um, we still would have gotten the three star, I believe, though. So nice three star on that base right there. That's going to put us up 31 trophies. Did we even get um, that good of a loot there? Let's see. We actually had a bunch of troops left over. I'm amazed. Nice. So that puts us up 31 trophies. We got a good amount of Dark Elixir there. That, that's the big thing with this base. As soon as I switched over from the farming base to this base, I lost like 35,000 Dark Elixir so far, which is a lot. Um, farming bases are a lot better, I believe, if you want to save up. Of course, that's what they're meant to do. But, I mean, even if you're pushing trophies, I think they're better. But for the sake of gaining trophies, I went ahead and switched over to a um, trophy base. And it has netted us a good amount of our trophies. So, looking good so far. I'm going to get this. What else do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's six. Oh, yeah, I also throw in a minion now for... Anything that's on the ground that I can't reach. Um, and I need a minion to clean up. Don't forget my heroes. Those are the most important thing on Gi uh, Go Wee Wee. And we are good to go. Hopefully our goal is about... Um, I'm going to say 23... Or no, 27... 20 trophies and we should be good. 
All right. 13 trophies, no thank you. If we see any good loot too, I'll be sure to take that. 30 trophies, perfect. Let's go ahead and attack this base. Um, this base is pretty strong. I think it's pretty weak if I attack from down here. I'm sure he has all his traps and his stuff down here too, so I'm just going to search for anything I can get. Not seeing much. No traps, okay. Um, where's his clan castle? His clan castle is up here, so I'm going to go ahead and put down that. Nothing in his clan castle. Awesome. That's going to make this attack a lot easier for us. going to put down our only our two golems this time. Decided not to add in any more or wait for the uh, my clan to donate them. Going to put down some wizards here. Get my heroes going in there. And I am going to put a rage spell down right there because I believe my troops should head that direction. Um, now it's time to just watch and let it play out. I don't need to use my free spell yet. I will here in a second though. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze the hero, um, the Inferno Tower, and the Expo. Okay. Um, where are our wizards? Our wizards are pumped up in the center there on a rage spell. Nice. I want to get my queen on that rage spell too. Um, I'm going to use another freeze. Can I get all three of those? That would be great. I can. Awesome. If we can take out that inferno tower, that'd be really nice. Oh, my king almost died there. Wow. I don't know how he took so much damage. I guess the cannons are firing on him. We're at 51%, 52%. We got two stars. Nice. I don't think we're going to be able to get the three star in this one, to be honest. Um, especially not with three golems. So I am going to go ahead and end that raid there. And that's going to give us 20 trophies. And the reason I ended it there is because if I don't have any golems, um, the rest of my troops are just going to get one-shotted. So it's very, very unlikely for me to get a three-star there. And so I will save gems or time if you don't have gems in order to go ahead and heal up your heroes. So that was worth it. Okay, we are going to pass 2,700. That's good. I don't think we're going to go any higher than that, though. Um, let's go ahead and get these going again. One, two, one, two, three, four, five five nice all right um what do i need now i don't think i used my minion yeah i still have my minion in my camp i still have three archers okay gives me a good idea of what i need 20 wall breakers i need and the reason i run so many wall breakers is because if you can get through the walls this comp, uh, troop comp is just absolutely crazy um if you can't get through the walls then you're going to struggle a little, little bit like pekka's they don't need as many wall breakers because pekka's can break through any type of walls really quickly um, but I think we should be good now. Heroes are good. Yep. All right. Final attack, guys. Let's see what we can get. 423,000 gold. Okay, I want to do it. I want to see if we can get this gold. It's a lot of gold. Um, hmm. That's a strong base, too, though. So let's see what we can do. Two wall breakers. Going to punch through there. I want to punch through over here, but I don't think we can. Maybe if I send in an archer and then two wall breakers right after. Nope. No luck there. So that was a waste of um, some troops there. I think three golems would help here too, but we should be okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Take out any of these outside buildings and start heading in there. Put down a rage ball here. I want my heroes funneling in right towards the center. Okay, you got a bunch of wizards right there. Here comes his uh, clan castle troops too, which I didn't lure out, so that might cost me actually. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm gonna put down that right there. Lightning spell that. I wanna put down another free spell here. Uh, my king is almost dead. Wow. Okay, so we did get all his clan castle troops. Okay, this attack's not going as planned. If we get two stars, I will be impressed. I will. Um, I'm going to use a rage spell. The queen's not even in it. That's terrible. There, there we go. Now she's in it. Okay, we did get the town hall. We're at 40%. We got 200,000 gold so far. Can we get more? I want to see if we can get all this gold. That would be awesome. We're at 45%. Queen is still going. I need to get this queen to 40, guys. Queen is so strong. Um, Alright, so we're going to take that out. I think I'm going to do a video of that soon where I max out my heroes. Alright, 52%. We did get the 2 star though, so that is good. We're not going to gain very many trophies. We did get a bunch of gold though, which makes it fun. And I still had a couple of leftover troops, which I didn't use. 300,000 gold, 13 trophies. Not bad. Plus the bonus, that's going to equal 400,000 gold. So we did get what we originally set out for. Um, so very cool there. That is going to place us up to 2710 trophies for this episode. Not as many trophies on that. Hopefully our defense does some work for us. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about the updates coming out, guys. If you guys didn't hear, level 7 giants, I think those might actually end up replacing golems. Not replacing them, but be up to par with them. Um, if it is a big jump in hit points, I think giants are going to be very viable. And I'm excited to do some attacks with the new ones. Um, the resources, I think they're making it a lot easier for people to go ahead and farm up. Um, to be sitting there, you're just going to... The level 12 collectors are just going to be crazy. You're going to get so much... And farming for those people in the past isn't, it's not really fair to be honest. Like, people have worked so hard 
and so long and maxing out bases. And um, then for those of you um, who are just getting new into the game, have the level 12. So it's kind of like punishing the older players, but that's okay. It's going to make the game a lot quicker, I guess you could say. Um, so good on Supercell for doing that. And then there's some other cool updates coming out where you have multiple layouts you can save and stuff. So that's going to be awesome. Really looking forward to that. So I'll have a farming base and then a trophy base, and you can switch right over. Save me a couple um, minutes switching over the base. But it works out, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Episode number three, Go Wee Wee Edition, Road to Champs. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to vote um, down below on which troop composition you want to see next on the Road to Champs. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about it. Let's see if we're going to 500 likes. And you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.